Hello, I'm David. I have a course called Your Creative Self. Every week we have a three hour long class. Um, within those three hours, I may make one good point. Uh, so this is the one good point from this week. Hello, you guys. Thank you. Right, we, we give up on the idea of this, like this really important art history where we need to learn all of this history, and then find our place continuing that history. That's boring now. We don't want to do that. Instead, you might be aware of stuff that's happened before, but only as kind of fuel to your own fire. You're not wanting to carry on some grand old tradition. That's what burning a box of beautiful things is. So I thought uh, you could draw a few boxes. Draw three boxes. I'm going to prescribe pen, paper, draw three boxes, and then write down, in terms of the creative stuff that you like to do, what would it mean for you to be burning the box of beautiful things? What does that mean? What do you need to cast aside in order to proceed? That's what I mean. It's a good question. See what you can write down in, in your boxes. I don't know about you, but I like my exercise. <laughs> that was quite good. Um, Sarah Sidevi said, the ideal of perfectionism. Yeah, I put that. <laughs> Criticism of my own mind. Yeah, like feeling like you're not good enough. Very good, Sarah. And wanting to remain mysterious. Interesting one. Um, yeah, I put, what did I put? I put expectations of quality, like the idea that there's one way to do things. I don't know. And my second one's actually the same. Now I look at it, because the second one says a particular correct way. And the third one says genres. Um, is that, but I like, uh, in music making terms, and these, I often bring things back to music, but it applies absolutely to everything else. Um that idea that there's a particular way of doing things. I certainly know music and I'm sure it applies to other things. It'll apply to filmmaking. It applies to everything. The idea that you need particular kinds of equipment or you need to master particular kinds of equipment. And there's a whole sequence of processes. Julia, when she was talking about her track, which sounded great to us. And then she said, oh, the mastering's not very good. That's because she's got this idea that mastering needs to be done really well by some kind of professional. But actually, you know, it's only fine. It's fine. Um, and, and those kind of things, but that's all because you've got these expectations, like this idea that other people know how to do it really, really well, and you don't because you're not them or whatever. You know, this idea is all this knowledge that you need to have before you can do something properly. That's what it's all about. Uh, as we can also see, <laughs> Julia, it wasn't bad. Um, Rose had being an established artist, perfectionism, and my own others' perception of the work instead of work, just my own enjoyment. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Kathy said, formal education, expertise, aesthetic. Yeah, exactly. It's all those expectations from other people, which don't help. They don't, they don't help. <laughs> uh, we, they, they do hang over us, but actually don't help. Uh, is the way they could help. I mean, wanting things to be a certain acceptable standard so, you know is there's, there's probably something to that but we all overthink that and you you think that everything you do needs to be better in certain kind of technical ways and it and it's not true and the most interesting things are kind of experimental and a bit strange and different and weird that's fine we like those things you know loads of things that you like or which have kind of broken through as being like striking new advances in music or art or whatever they're the things which are weird and which people haven't been doing before, and which don't conform to all this kind of stuff. So good. I'm glad we. <laughs> I'm glad we talked about that now. Uh, I think it's a good point that I made. <laughs> yes.